30 years ago, young Benjamin Netanyahu began his diplomatic and political career as Israel's ambassador to the UN. Visiting Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, the leader of the Chabad Lubavitch Hasidic movement, he was given a holy insight. But here's what the Rebbe said to me. He said to me, you'll be serving in a house of many lies. And then he said, remember that even in the darkest place, the light of a single candle can be seen far and wide. Three decades on, in what is becoming an almost yearly ritual, Netanyahu proudly carries the candle of truth and addresses the UN General Assembly. His knack for the dramatic gesture is evident. Maps, diagrams, props, cartoons, and biblical quotes, you name it, he provides it. Are these plans of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp where one million Jews were murdered? Are they a lie too? Let's do as we say in the Middle East, let's, let's talk dugri. That means straightforward. This is a bomb. This is a fuse. Where should a red line be drawn? A red line should be drawn right here. Ahmed Inijad was a wolf in wolf's clothing. Wuhani is a wolf in sheep's clothing. A wolf who thinks he can pull the eyes, the wool over the eyes of the international community. Netanyahu's fondness of visual aids and gimmicks has been subjected to much criticism and gleeful mockery. But one thing cannot be denied. When the Israeli Prime Minister arrives at the UN, he always gives unforgettable speeches. The light of a single candle? Maybe. But whatever the case, he delivers the message.